GM Web3. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so today we're going to talk about GEM.xyz. Um, it's a service to um, that enables you to buy at once uh, multiple uh, NFTs or to, or to sell at once multiple NFTs. It's called uh, sweeping the floor. It's when you're, you know, you're very serious about collections and uh, you want to to build up a collection for yourself. Um, and want to buy at once multiple NFTs from one collection or even multiple collections. Here is the problem though, uh, you would have to go to OpenSea and every single time do a trade. So there's no problem with that, but it's like uh, very time consuming, but it's also it's a so fee consuming. You would have to pay every time the, uh, the, uh, the network fee for that transaction, which is about right now, I think about $11. When here you can do in one checkout, uh, you can buy in one checkout multiple NFTs and pay uh, uh, pay a little more fee, but a lot less than if you had to pay every single time. So very very convenient to uh, to do that. So um, um, you know, as always, uh, with uh, a web free app, you have to connect your wallet. So uh, here in that case, it's uh, Zango, and you can see on the right uh, a real time replica of my uh, of my wallet. So I'm going to. Uh, connect through. Uh, uh, oh, it's already. It was already there. Uh, anyway, uh, let me actually show you how it would be if I was not using it before. Okay, so that you see exactly the use case. Right. So you connect the wallet. It will present you three options, and the one that you want to use is uh, Wallet Connect, which is the one that we're supporting. So you just. Scan it. it. Takes two seconds. It will authenticate that it's a gem. Of course, you always want to check that this is the original uh, application gem that X Y Z. Make sure that you're going into a, a wrong uh, wrong URL, wrong app. That's it. I'm connected to uh, to gem. So now we want to buy a, a collection, and you know, as you can see, they are all presented there. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, by one that I like uh, yeah, this little ducks here. Okay, so you can see here the collection of ducks that are that you can purchase right now. Uh, you can also uh, set a minimum price and a minimum rar rarity score, which is good. Uh, you can see also the marketplaces on which it's listed. You can buy from different marketplaces, uh, which is very very good feature too. It's like a um, sort of shopping engine for uh, comparison price of uh, was well, not really comparing price, but shopping engine for NFT. And by the way, OpenSea just acquired them, so you can expect to have that functionality on OpenSea, but it's not available right now. Um, you can see on the left where it's listed. Actually, you can see the OpenSea uh, uh, icon. So let's assume I want to buy uh, that one. So if I want to buy one, uh, very very simple. I add one. I can see the cart right here, and uh, it would generate a transaction right there. And so the network fee would be $14.23, uh, uh, dollars, right, if I wanted to buy only one. But the interest comes when you want to buy actually two, right? And so the transactions is like now obviously more expensive because you're buying two uh, items at once, but pay attention to the network fee. It's actually uh, uh, it's obviously more expensive, but not twice the price, right? So you're saving uh, considerably on uh, on the fees here by buying uh, two items, right? So very very important uh, to uh, to notice. Um, there is a a little uh, button here uh, which is as saying that you can protect your transaction from Flashbot. Not sure exactly what it means. Um, safety mode ensures your transaction will only be mined if every item is available, meaning you won't pay any gas. Oh, that's great. So so that functionality allows you to actually pay for the transaction, but only if the NFT is available to purchase, because sometimes you could pay for the transaction and not getting the NFT uh, right into your, into your wallet. So that's a, a bit of a problem. So you can use uh, you can use that, and um, it doesn't look like it's more expensive to do it. And so what you would need here is just to confirm the transaction, 
um, and you would own at once those uh, those two uh, NFTs, right? So very very simple. Um, I'm not going to proceed to the transaction, but I think you you're getting the point. It's very very uh, convenient interface uh, to uh, to do that. Uh, there are other items here that are super interesting. You can find like all sorts of analytics on the on the NFT platform, on the NFT that you are collecting. Sorry, um, you know sales volume. Like usually stats you could find on uh, also on uh, on OpenSea, um, but they are conveniently presented there. They're super super convenient. That's it. So um, now you know how to buy multiple NFTs at once. Actually, uh, just for the purpose of the demonstration. Uh, you could actually buy also other NFTs in the same transaction. So, for example, uh, you could buy an, an ENS. Oh, my phone already has disappeared. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me put that here. So, you could buy an ENS right here uh, along with the DUX, which is also super convenient. So, if you want to, you know, for example, uh, buy that one, I, I don't care about it, but. Let's assume you want to buy that. You can also buy an ENS at the same time. And uh, pay attention that uh, the price um, of the network fee, uh, let's see if it's going to uh, price it to check out. You pay, select the tokens. OK, estimated route, estimated gas. You pay. Oh, I know why the gas here is more expensive because on ENS you have to you have to pay for uh, a lot more gas than a typical NFT. So let, let let me let me buy another one. Right, let me buy another one. Uh, but you can see you can buy an ENS on top of two ducks if you want to. Right, um, which is really really cool. Uh, let's say we want to buy uh, I don't know uh, a little pudgy. Right, little pudgy, little pudgy. Okay, so I could buy, uh, for example, that one actually from uh, from from looks rare. Could add it here, right? And you could have in the same transaction two NFTs from one marketplace and another NFT from a completely different marketplace, which is really really cool. Um, so. There you go. Really, really convenient way to, with one wallet, buy multiple NFTs at once, save on network fees, buy from different marketplaces, have all the stats. Um, really something super convenient to, uh, to use if you're serious about collections. That's it for today. Have a good day. Welcome to the future.